Hello, my friend. Welcome to another session as we are making steps closer to Christ by the grace of God. Today, we're going to read, reflect, apply, and pray. Read, reflect, apply, and pray. We are in paragraph 12.1. Now, I want to start our reading. Here we go. It says, Jesus did not suppress one word of truth, but he uttered it always in love. He exercised the greatest tact and thoughtful, kind attention in his relationships with the people. He was never rude, never needlessly spoke a severe word, never gave needless pain to a sensitive soul. He did not censure human weakness. He spoke the truth, but always in love. He denounced hypocrisy, unbelief, and iniquity. But tears were in his voice as he uttered his catching rebukes. He wept over Jerusalem, the city he loved, which refused to receive him, the way, the truth, and the life. They had rejected him, the Savior, but he regarded them with pitying tenderness. His life was one of self-denial and thoughtful care for others. Every soul was precious in his eyes. While he ever bore himself with divine dignity, he bowed with tenderest regard to every member of the family of God. In all men, he saw fallen souls whom it was his mission to save. This is a powerful paragraph again. As we reflected upon how Jesus dealt with the people in his time. We see that Jesus, he was not the person that some people portray him as, as one that is harsh, one that is rebuking people in the New Testament and does not care about the Pharisees and the Sadducees and those who are going contrary to his teaching. But actually we see a Jesus who has tears in his eyes as he is speaking to those who are turning against him. This is a Jesus we serve, the one who has love totally in his heart for every single human being. And the text tells us in, in this paragraph, as Ellen G. Wright wrote, it tells us that Jesus actually spoke the truth in love. This is very important here for us to pause and reflect upon because we know a lot of doctrinal truths but Jesus has spoke them in love and it's a challenge for us today that as we know these doctrinal truths that we pray that the power of Jesus will rescue our hearts to the point when we're speaking or teaching or preaching these doctrinal truths that we do it in love. We need to pray that the power of God will rest upon us and give us the love that we need to speak to our friends about these truths. Uh, in care, in love for them, that they will be saved and not just acknowledge, oh, you're right. I never thought of that. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong, but you're right. That's not the point we're trying to prove. We want them to be able to be drawn closer uh, to Christ. So let us pray that Jesus will bless us with the Holy Spirit, that when we speak the truth, that we'll do it in love. Father, we need the power of your Holy Spirit. Sometimes we speak and we only want to be spoken uh, for someone to acknowledge that we are right. Bless us now until the end that we will start to speak the truth in love. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. I'll see you next time.